Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me on the floor and on the couch, it is covered in the castellated menobilia. What things have I collected over the years being a new castellated fan and what things have I also received from either staff members or players at the club for being a full-time YouTuber. The fact now that I guess I've got all the time in the world to do whatever I want the castellated related has also given me a bit more freedom and opportunity to potentially get some of the stuff behind me. So I'm in this video today to kind of show off, I suppose, to show you everything I've got. I'm also currently in the process of actually wanting to buy more things. So you guys are either giving stuff away or you're trying to sell things. Just let me know because there probably are some things that I'm interested in. As for me, I'm not selling anything I've got. I'm just trying to bulk up my collection. I just want to be... I want to have the biggest collection out there, to be honest. I know for a fact that I'm miles off doing that, though. I've seen a guy on Instagram that has over 200 match-worn shirts. How the hell do you have over 200 match-worn shirts? It's very impressive, some of the collections fans have. I'm here on this video today, actually, just to show you through it. Uh, give you my backstory and some of the things behind me. Hopefully, you take something away from it. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. The Joe Linton kits are the newest additions to my collection, this being the 2020-21 season, the COVID-19 year. Zero fans in attendance, we were crap, we were bad to watch, it was depressing being at home. What a terrible time to be alive, to be honest. But we got past that, we'll always get past it. And this was when Callum Wilson had came into the football club, but he was number 13. Joe Linton was still number 9 for one more season before the switch and Joe Linton became 7 and Joe Linton really became Joe Linton. I won both of these items on an auction for £275, which I think is quite a good deal. And that fan had previously got them from the foundation. So every single season, the castinator would give the foundation player issue kits where they auction it. And all the money goes back into the foundation. So that's how the previous fan obtained these items, of course. So we have the proof here. That's probably the biggest thing I would recommend you guys. If you go on the eBay, you're going to anywhere to buy. So if you kind of need another proof, especially with match issue kits and match worn shirts, you kind of can't prove them being real. So you, you more or less need to know where they came from. It's probably the best way of putting it. So yeah, I, I knew straight away. I can tell from the Joe Linton kits that they're all real. I can tell from this shirt that it's definitely... Player issue. I'm not sure if it's match one, but it definitely is player issue, which is the most important part for me. And speaking of the foundation, I personally won this iron off them earlier in the season. I was the only bidder on the Matty Longstaff plaque for £50. Nobody else would pay £50 for an autograph from both the Longstaffs, framed and the plaque. So I've got to say, £50 pretty bloody decent for that. I think probably the biggest problem in the summer is that even myself can admit I wasn't a fan of Sean Longstaff last season. I really wasn't. I think he himself knows that he's much better now as a football player. I mean, it's an absolute no-brainer. You tell me now, do you think Sean Longstaff's been better this season than last season? Everyone watching this video will say this season, and that's just the truth, really. He's it's improved so much. Behind the scenes, he's improved so much on the pitch, and he should be proud of himself. As for his brother, Matty, though, he's been a bit unfortunate this season. He's picked up a very serious ACL injury out on loan, and, of course, his future is going to be in doubt. But no matter what happens in his future, he will always have that. Debut against Manchester United scoring the match winner. That is what you dream of doing. So, yeah, a, a plaque to remember that goal. This is my St. Maxman match-worn shirt from Norwich away last season. We won 3-0 in the game. St. Maxman actually got an assist in the match for Joe Linton's second goal, I believe. So, Joe Linton scored two and Bruno got the third one in what was an extremely convincing win. So, after the match, St. Maxman came over. This is actually the first and only time a player has ever gave me their shirt. So, quite literally, St. Maxman pointed me out in the crowd and he placed a shirt in my hand. Honestly, I had goosebumps. It was such an amazing moment. So, yeah, afterwards, I got a sign from St. Maxman, but you can barely see it now because my mum actually put the shirt in the wash and the, now the autographs are all washed away. I mean, I was so angry when she did that. But, yeah, that's my St. Maxman match worn shirt there from last season. Thankfully, this shirt does have St. Maxman's autograph on it. So, ma'am, you are not going anywhere near this shirt. Do not even think about it. So, as for the other four players, they were actually at the club shop earlier in the season. So, it was Joe Linton, Alan Warren, Bruno and Mancure. So, this shirt's actually quite a good one. Got loads of the good players on it. This shirt is actually my Anthony Gordon number 20 shirt, which I incorrectly got when he first signed at the football club. As a result, it's now became an autograph shirt. So on the front, I went to the training ground. I got a bunch of autographs. When I went, 10 players stopped, which is the most I've ever seen stop the training ground. And if you watch my vlog of that, the likes of Anthony Gordon, Joe Willick, Bruno, Longstaff, Burns stopped. And we got a bunch of them before the Carabao Cup final. 
So these are more autographs from the current first team. That autograph I got myself at the training ground. The other three I bought online. The Mark Gillespie glove that is actually training one. Uh, that was given to me by a fan of the channel. I don't know why he gave me the Gillespie glove. Chances are he just doesn't like Mark Gillespie. So, I mean, he needs to sort it out. But as for these shirt, I was also given up by a fan. There's 17 signatures from last season on that Alexa like, Kuhn trip you're on. I haven't actually got a Kuhn trip yet autograph yet so that's on this shirt as well as 16 of our members of the first team or eddie howe and jason tinder those two are on it but yeah just a bunch of autographs from the current first team as for x autographs we have sir bobby robson patrick cliver kennedy david genoa gary speed tim crow we also have four players from the inter first squad i'm not sure which ones they are somebody gave me that so if you guys have any idea whose autographs they are i appreciate it we have Yohan Kabai, Demba Bar, So Cam, I know he sucked at Newcastle, but we did have So Cam, but Alan Pardew and current Newcastle under 21 player Ryan Fraser. Everything you are seeing now on the screen is from my one week stay over in Saudi Arabia during the World Cup tournament in Qatar, where Newcastle had a mid season break in Riyadh. Now, funny enough, we played Alahau on the 8th of December, winning 5 0. We also won the, the Riyadh Cup. So technically, I've seen Newcastle win silverware this season. I mean, I'm definitely not going to class it, but I have seen Jacob Murphy lift the trophy my own eyes. So it'll be the first of many, I'm sure. But we put out on the 8th of December. My birthday is on the 9th of December, so I spent a week turning 22 in Saudi Arabia. Never thought I'd be doing that in my lifetime. Unfortunately, I didn't get a birthday card at the club, but to be fair, I did actually get a birthday message of murder. So I can't complain about that. I was just joking before about the card. But as for the items now, so we begin off with the al Hau top. So this was actually given to me by the al Hau fan. Of course, the opposition team will beat 5-0. Now, the people in Saudi Arabia are lovely, by the way. They're so friendly to people across there. I know on social media, you're always going to see the bad side of Saudi Arabia. But honestly, it's the safest country I've ever stayed. And I can't wait to be back again next season. And I had a really good week there. Now, as for the autographs, you can see now. So this is actually from the Castanets International Support event. This is the first time... In the club history where Newcastle have held an event abroad for Newcastle fans to attend. So I was there, we've seen the likes of Amanda Staley, Darren Eos, the players on the screen now. So Eddie Howe turned up with Lissell's Longstaff and Murphy. You've got to meet them all, get autographs, have a, a decent conversation with them. They're going to actually have a chance to speak directly to the club. I can't recommend the event enough. It really was a, an amazing experience to be at. Now he has an arrogant fact for you. Sean Longstaff at this event is the first ever Newcastle United player who has asked me for a photograph. I mean, fair play to Sean Longstaff, what a lad he is. But honestly, it was a really good event. And he has a little bit of a sneak peek for you as well. Of course, Newcastle have announced their Amazon Prime documentary coming towards the end of the summer. I fully expect this event to be in the documentary. So keep an eye out for me and keep an eye out for the event itself because trust me, it was amazing. As for programmes, I reckon upstairs I've got about 800 in total. I cannot be bothered to get 800 programmes out, so I'll show you some of the more important ones here. So the two on the left are from the two cup finals this season. The women's one last week where Shauna scored once again an unbelievable goal. And the other one being the Cowboy Cup final. And you cast it, it's first cup final in my lifetime. The first of many, I'm sure. But as for the old ones, we've got Shiva's testimonial, Steve Harper's testimonial. I was actually at Steve Harper's testimonial, so that was the one and only time I've seen the likes of Alan Shiva, Paolo Maldini play live. So that was definitely a great experience. Champions League, Europa League, you can see on the floor down there. I've got more or less all the home European ones. I do have two Barcelona programs from the time we won 3-2. If anyone's interested in one, I don't need two. So let me know on that. As for football shirts, I have approximately 50 Newcastle shirts. These are probably the two best retro ones I have. So that goalkeeper I, taught, I bought during lockdown on eBay for £140. It's a medium as well. I've honestly seen that shirt now sell for £500 since the takeover. And that's probably the biggest problem with the takeover when it comes to wanting to buy Newcastle United stuff because everything now is increased in price because fans are just so much more invested in the football club. So people want to go and buy stuff from the history because I know there's going to be better times ahead. As for the second one, the Alan Shearer shirt, so I actually bought this from the football shirt collection down in Manchester for, I think it was around £100. Now, I know you probably can get these sort of shirts for a little bit cheap online, but the thing with football shirts is that they have to be properly verified in order for the shirt to be sold. So someone would have honestly spent hours trying to track down that shirt and make sure it was legit. So 
it's a very good place to go for retro shirts because you know what you're getting with them. Well, that's honestly probably it when it comes towards some of the things I've received over the past year. If you want to see a different video where I go through more of my stuff because I, I could go on all day with the amount of Newcastle United things I have, I'd be more than happy to do so. As I said in the intro, I'm currently buying stuff, so I'm going to be getting more things in my collection on top of that whenever I get a chance. Um, I'll be probably doing some things in Newcastle Legends going forward, so um, obviously, again, I'll be getting autographs from them, etc. So it's just a case where I'm going to be bulking stuff up. Over the next few years, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm going to have such a huge collection. So, I one step at a time. Rome was not built in one day. But anyway, guys, hopefully you've learned something from the video, I suppose. If not, uh, I hope you enjoyed me showing off. But honestly, let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear what unique things you guys have. Because I imagine you guys have, have some mental things. So, let me know down in the comments section. Thank you all for watching. Take care. And I will see you all in the next one.